with Microsoft knocked out of the foldable phone game, it now turns to Oppo to really take control of the foldable phone market. Again, like I said, I would love to see Microsoft come back with a crazy, amazing comeback story where they join with Oppo to take down Samsung, but it looks like that's not going to happen. And whatever the case, Microsoft's going to be taking the L and trying to rebuild something. Nonetheless, though, the Oppo Find N3 might actually do what we think is the unthinkable right now, and that is take over as the foldable phone king. The reason why is because the brand new Oppo Find N3 coming out next year, obviously Oppo Find N2 just came out, Oppo Find 3 came out next year, is supposed to have a bigger display, a bigger phone than the z fold 4 and that my friends is how you destroy samsung because right now the only thing that the z fold 4 has over the oppo fine n2 and in that waterproofness obviously that's something and also i think wireless charging is another thing is the size a lot of people love the fine n2 they absolutely love it. Now, obviously, getting it is also a little bit more difficult, but they love the size of the actual device. But the biggest issue has to be the fact that... What's God? I said they love the design of the device. The size is the problem. It's a small display. It's a small inside display, and it's a small outside display. And when you can compare it directly to Samsung's de devices, you instantly go, wow, this is a lot smaller than that device. Which, again, like I said, if you make it the size of, let's say, hypothetically speaking, an iPhone, you know, 14 Pro Max on the outside, and then on the inside, same size as Z Fold 4, now you're talking about a possible, absolutely revolutionary phone where everyone is happy. There's no more crease, the outside display is usable and huge, and the inside display is usable and huge. And I'm going to guess because of Oppo's track record here, that they're going to continue to improve the inside display, making it more durable, add more features with the Oppo Find N3. And who knows? Maybe this is what they need to go international and let everybody possible try out their product rather than just strictly release in China and, you know, really just kind of alienating the rest of the world from being able to buy their product Hopefully this is their big, you know, break, right? And again, like I said, it does come down to, first off, them doing this themselves, figuring out themselves. But Microsoft, if you want to join in, you can absolutely join in. And, you know, your little stupid Surface Duo 3 one screen device type concept. I'm sure Oppo would allow you to join the t at the table with this Oppo Find N3. But nonetheless, though, I digress. I think this would be absolutely amazing. This is a phone I would love to see more than anything. Is the Oppo... Because I've tried out the Oppo Find N2 recently. I don't, I don't own it, but I tried it out from a friend. And I love it. It is absolutely everything you want. So if they get a Find N3, man, that would be so freaking amazing if it had a bigger display. Because that's my only great with it. My only problem with the Find N2 is the display being so small. If you make the whole thing bigger, you're adding so much more. Imagine the equivalent of a Surface Duo 2, but with a one foldable display and there's an outside display too. Like they, you literally, if they make, they're, because they're, yeah, because they're making this bigger, they're literally just going to make the Surface Duo 2, but the correct way. The way Microsoft should have made the Surface Duo 2 with a nice outside display that's huge, a nice inside display that's huge. And again, like I said, I prefer two separate displays, but you know what? If they make everything work out, I think I can get over the fact it doesn't have two separate displays. But that's just my personal opinion. I'd love to hear your opinions down below. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.